Okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, the city of Harrisburg is disappointed with uh, the sentencing that occurred today. We did submit a long, comprehensive document uh, that recommended two to five years of jail time. We felt that would have been an appropriate sentence given uh, what we view is uh, the magnitude of the crime and a continued pattern of the former mayor of not really accepting responsibility for his actions. You know, I, I thought today that we were in Judge Kleinfelder's uh, courtroom. There was a portrait of him on the wall, and I thought back to the case of Bishop versus Reed, in which Judge Kleinfelder himself wrote uh, in a case where uh, Reed had, had uh, misappropriated millions of dollars of public money. Uh, by the time it came to uh, his court, the money had been spent. He ruled that the actions were above the law. He uh, ruled that uh, Reed had acted in a Machiavellian manner. But the money was gone, and so the best he could do was slap him on the wrist and say, don't do it again. I, I don't feel that we sent the right strong message that we should about public corruption uh, today, but there are some positives that will come out of what happened here today. The city currently uh, is a, a party to what could potentially be millions and millions of dollars in civil suit um, uh, monies that could flow to the city and help in its recovery. Um, uh, now uh, the, the leading defendant of uh, these professionals is going to be a convicted felon. And that will help the city, I think, in reaching settlements uh, and uh, in getting its finances back in order. Uh, I also think uh, that this is not the end of the criminal investigation. I think there will be uh, more indictments to come, and I don't think you should close the book uh, on the history of what happened in Harrisburg. I do think there was fundamentally a miscalculation as to what the, the cost of this crime was. Um, this was never about just a photo of Geronimo or a cash check of a famous bank robber. This was about a systematic pattern of corruption, the use of public funds that ended up bankrupting the school district, bankrupting the city of Harrisburg, bankrupting the Harrisburg Authority. It resulted in the loss of the city's most prized assets, whether it's our, our parking asset, our incinerator, skyrocketing water costs, uh, you name it. We are paying the price of these actions today and will be for generations yet to come. And I believe that should have counted into the judge's decision today. We will put our victim's impact statement up on the website. I'll go back and do that now. It'll be up this afternoon. And other than that, I don't have any further comments. What makes you think that this isn't the end? Uh, it's not the end. There, uh, there, there uh, I think will be additional criminal charges for other individuals, and I think there will be uh, numerous uh, civil cases that will lead to either settlements or verdicts. But what makes you think that? My, my knowledge. Would this be more towards the incinerator death, or not, not for the heart attacks? Both, both, and they're and they're intertwined, and it, one should should understand that they're intertwined, and. The artifacts were purchased largely with money that was diverted uh, from the incinerator or that came out of professional fees um, that were, were a part of the incinerator fiasco. So it, it, it's all a, a continuous pattern of public corruption for which the city is still paying the price to this day. That's all, all I'm saying. We're well on the way to recovery, but I think we, we, we still would benefit from, uh, from millions of dollars in, in, in civil cases, and we would benefit from other people being held uh, accountable and not just Mayor Reed. You said that those 20 items are the sum total of the Harrisburg property that he ended up with as a result of this. Do you dispute that? Absolutely. We believe all of uh, uh, the, the items are Harrisburg's property and we're going to fight to make sure that we have them. Remember, when Mayor Reed left office, he packed up not only, uh, you know, these 20 or so items that were mentioned, but every public record uh, associated with uh, his time in office. All of those are the public's documents, and uh, they were absconded with, uh, and we want them all back. Mayor, you heard his uh, comments here uh, just moments ago. What, what, what did you think of what he said? I did not actually hear everything that he said, and uh, this has never been personal. I think uh, the judge said it was about friends and enemies today. It's not about friends and enemies. It's about it's about public corruption, and it's about how our system uh, deals with that and how we can make sure that the city as a whole recovers. Um, to this day, part of the legacy of that uh, uh, corruption is a distrusting 
body politic, uh, a lack of civic engagement, a crumbling school system, all problems which, uh, which continue to impact uh, our city. Do you think, do you think uh, uh, Stephen Reed was unfairly just shown mercy because he was the former mayor and I guess apparently did all this for, for the city of Harrisburg? I hope that's not the takeaway. I hope that's not the, the message that people will get from, from this today. Uh, I hope it's not that they feel that powerful people just get slaps on the wrist. Uh, that's why I'm hopeful that this is just the start, just the beginning. There'll be much more to come, both on the civil and criminal side. What's next for the city in this, as you call it, fight to get the other artifacts back? What well, we will fight to make sure that all of the city's public documents and records, not just the artifacts, but just the, the records of daily life of an administration that lasted 28 years in this city, are returned from private hands. They're the public's documents and they need to be preserved for future historians, future people, so that they understand what happened. What specifically have you gone with looking for document-wise that hasn't been? Tractor trailer load after tractor trailer load of, of documents related to every activity uh, that occurred during 28 years of, uh, of mayor. The mayor's files, which are never his personal files, and I'm very conscious of this as a mayor today, all of those were, were packed up and taken. Now, this wasn't a case about public records, but um, it, it, that's a part of it. That's a part of the concern. So there is really no ability for the city to fully comprehend what happened during the, the read term because all those documents disappeared. And were those documents recovered by the Attorney General's office? Yeah, and, uh, and we'll ask for them back along with the artifacts. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Appreciate it.